going to call up Strinsky's shop. I'm going to leave word. I don't want a convict working around here. Oh, no, Archie. Please don't do that. They may not let him out oh, again. Oh, I'm going to make this call. Oh, well, put that phone down. I am going to make the call. Oh, put the phone down. I am going to make this call. Put the phone down. In front of the kids. <laughs> about it. Just revoice the charges. Fats open the floor. <laughs> no. I mean, I refuse to call Estelle. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? You, you, run them words past me once again. <laughs> I ain't gonna call Estelle. And I ain't gonna write her, neither. My mind is made up. Case closed. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Gloria and Mike. That's my daughter and son-in-law. What about our little grandson? Oh, and hi, little Joey. Oh, that's our little grandson. Yeah, here I am. Your grandma's in your TV. <laughs> especially if you're wet. Kids never dry. Hey, hey, Edith, it's terrific on a tube. Uh, how are you gonna act with a big shot wife in the house? Well, how the hell am I now? Maybe I'll wear a tie to bed. Hey, hey, hey pipe down. The corner's gonna give Edith an award. And so this is for you, Edith Bunker, Citizen of the Week. Oh, thank you. Oh, my, that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, 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 I want to say that I could never have done it alone. Oh, so I'd like to thank Mr. Martin for having a heart attack. <laughs> uh, and, and all the other people at the Sunshine Home, and especially my... Husband, Archie Bunker. Hey, Archie, he's talking about you. Shut up, let the woman talk. Because he's the real hero in the family. Because if I wasn't married to a man like that who puts up with me going out to work, I wouldn't have been at the Sunshine Home where I could have saved somebody's life. And so. Very true. I always give it total freedom. <laughs> Kelsey's bar, <laughs> and I want him to know that I love him. And this is for you, Archie. <laughs> she didn't have to do that in front of the world. <laughs> There's someone sitting on the porch. I don't want to get up here. I don't want to get up here. Let go of my hand, sir. Month. No. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, I, hey, hey, Edith, uh, hey, look at the time there. Shouldn't you be in church now, huh? I ain't going to church. What's the matter, Ma? You always go to church on Sunday. Well, I ain't going today. Well, that's all right. That's all right, Edith. <laughs> you don't have to go to church today. You, you go to church next Sunday. Maybe I won't go next Sunday, neither. Well, that's all right. Listen, Edith, you went to church many the time over the years. Sometimes I think you overwent. <laughs> the way I feel today, I may not go to church ever.
Well, now, Edith, you know, I hate to cross you and things like this here, but I really think that somebody from the family <laughs> ought to kind of be there representing us in front of God. Why? What good does it do? Oh, Ma. Ma? I'm all right, Ma. Out there, I told you why you yell at Archie. Don't you want to hear why Archie yells at you? <laughs> Ma, I know why he yells at me. He hates me. Oh, no, Mike. Archie yells at you because he's jealous oh, of you. Oh, Ma, I don't want to oh, listen to this. Wait a minute. You will. Listen to me, Archie is jealous of you. Oh, come oh, now on, that Ma. ain't hard to understand, Mike. You're going to college and you got your whole life ahead of you. Archie had to quit school to support his family. He ain't never going to be nothing more than he is right now. But you, you got a chance to be anything you want to be. That's why Archie's jealous of you. He sees in you all the things that he could never be. So the next time Archie yells at you, try to be a little more understanding. Now, you think that over, and when you're ready, come back in here with us and be with our friends. Please, I bought you some fruit for your trip. <laughs> We're only going to Manhattan. Well, subways break down sometimes. Well, Edith, uh, I guess this is really goodbye. I know. Well, I'll just say so long. So long, Edith. Louise, did I ever tell you I love you? Every minute we've spent together. You'd better go now, before the both of us get awful wet. Bye, Louis. I mean, so long. Come here, come here. What are you doing in here? A wife ain't supposed to be making free in a saloon. I ain't making nothing. I'm making friends. Well, you finished making friends. Now you're coming home with me. Oh, Come no, Archie. I ain't going home. I like it here. And Joe says I'm the life of the party. <laughs> this party don't deserve to live. Come on. Come no. back and here's your coat. No, your coat. I ain't going, Archie. Ada, Ada, listen, listen, I can't drag you out of here. I'll tell you what, you didn't eat nothing and I didn't eat nothing, see? So why don't the two of us just duck out of here, we'll go over to Tony's Little Naples, we'll have dinner there. We'll have a big bowl of spaghetti and a plate of some of that veal scallop pee, -pee. The they got rid of all that junk now, and they got them classy smoky mirrors up there. Oh, huh? Archie, I'd love okay, that. Okay, all right. Now say goodbye to everybody, and let's get the hell out of here. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, Archie, you got a great little missus there. Edith, you're terrific. No kid. See you next Saturday? Yeah. Come on, all right. Hey, both guys there, Joe. Nice Saturday night, no, because, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna take the missus out and foist the dinner into a basketball oh, game. Come on. Oh, gee, really? Yeah, yeah, if I can work it out, he can take it. Oh, uh, thanks, everybody. But Archie says next Saturday night he's taking me out to dinner in a basketball game. If I can game. work it out, he did. Come on. Oh, just a minute. If for any reason Archie can't work it out, <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Are, uh, uh, 
No, I can't. No! <laughs> Donna, those people are a couple of swingers. Oh, I know. They won a trophy in the Harvest Moon Dance Contest. No, they are wife swappers. Wife swappers? What's that? <laughs> They're here to change partners, but not for dancing. <laughs> about here is a little bit more important than maple syrup. Just a minute, I ain't finished. They didn't talk to each other for three whole weeks, and even after they made up, things was never the same between them. So before you two start saying things to each other that you'll never take back, stop and think how much you really mean to each other. Now, I know maple syrup is just a little thing, but would you rather break up over something bigger? Boy, Michael? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> you want to go upstairs? Yeah. Ma? I'm sorry I called you a nothing. You're really something. Oh, thanks, Gloria. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Good night. Archie, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think I'm something? <laughs> you eat it or something else. Why don't you tell me you were sick? I tried to, but I didn't want to spoil your party. What? The party? I don't want to hear nothing more about the party. The hell with the party. He was too busy being Mrs. Nice Guy. His shoes. Well, it's cold up here. <laughs> you was being selfish, Edith. Selfish? That's right, S E double lopish. <laughs> I guess you wanted me to go on alone, trying to raise that little girl who already lost one mother. No. Oh, jeez, Edith. You're always being too good, good, good. I don't want to tell you, I'm tired of suffering from that. <laughs> from now on, like they say in the old song, there's going to be some changes made. And please don't sing it for me. <laughs> what I need to say is, if anything goes wrong with you, you got to tell me. So I can take care of you. I told Harry 
I can't go to work until the doctor says that you're okay. I'm going to wait on you. Oh, Archie. I can't leave your hand there, Harry. You know? <laughs> I, I know we're in, in, in bed, but you're too sick for them kind of moves. <laughs> oh, wait a You know something? The whole damn world was to go to the dogs. As long as I had you standing by my side, you know? Or sitting by my side, you know? Oh, laying here like this by my side, everything would be just okay. I've been blowing my own horn for a lot of years. I'm going to tell you something. I ain't nothing without you.